if they anticipate a reimbursement for the improvements to Frogmore Cottage, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are out of touch, a professional says. The royal couple was made fun of on South Park, which led to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry being kicked out of Frogmore House. Following their eviction from Frogmore Cottage, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle might ask for the millions spent on improvements to be given back to them, according to a recent story. King Charles III is supposedly relocating his brother, the disgraced royal Prince Andrew, into the palace, forcing the royal couple out of their house. A representative for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex revealed to Fox News Digital on Wednesday that they have been ordered to leave Frogmore Cottage, raising the possibility of further deteriorating relations between them and the British royal family as King Charles III's coronation approaches. If Harry and Meghan decide to request a reimbursement, one royal expert will call them out of touch with reality and criticize them harshly. Even Aesop understood the adage, be careful what you wish for in 260 BC. There are repercussions because H and M Harry and Meghan said they wanted to lead a more regular life, according to royal expert Hillary Fordwich on Fox News Digital. The idea that they anticipate receiving compensation for either improvements or their rent is the mindset of someone who is incredibly disconnected from reality and has no idea what the repercussions of their actions will be. Where in life are there no repercussions for one's actions? Maybe Harry can return everything and subtract what he's expecting back from what he was given by his mother, his grandmother, and his father, she suggested. Before they renounced their royal duties and relocated to Southern California, the couple intended to live in Frogmore Cottage on the grounds of Windsor Castle, west of London. Roya Nicka, the royal editor of the Sunday Times, reportedly told the Mirror that Harry and Markle would want part of the money they spent on renovations returned now that they've been kicked out of their home. The tabloid further said that on January 11, the day following the release of Harry's incendiary memoir, the king, Harry's father, began the eviction procedure. After their 2018 wedding, Markle and Harry received Frogmore Cottage as a gift from Queen Elizabeth II. The Sussexes had been residing in Nottingham Cottage, sometimes known as Not Cot, which was featured in the couple's Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan. At the time they accepted. Shortly after the birth of Archie, the couple relocated to Frogmore Cottage, which had previously been used as offices. Before making their decision to leave their careers as royals public, Harry and Markle resided at the cottage for a number of months. According to royal documents, $3.2 million was spent on the renovations, but in September 2020, a couple spokeswoman said that Harry, 38, had completely covered the expenditures. One royal specialist concurred that the couple ought to receive compensation for the money they contributed to the estate. If Harry and Meghan were handed back any of the money that they put in Frogmore Cottage, it could take a little bit of the sting away, Kinsey Schofield, host of the To Die For Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital. I don't disagree with the notion that they ought to be compensated. In fact, that money may assist them find another place to stay if they really desired a vacation house in the UK. Possible win-win situation. She added that Frogmore was a grace and favor residence, given to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex following their nuptials, with the assumption that they would be living a life of service and representing the crown. Schofield continued, they seem to be doing the exact opposite of that, and the house has turned into a glorified urban. Chris Anderson, the author of The King, concurs that Harry and Markle deserve payment for their investment in an assistance with bringing up to par Frogmore Cottage. All versions agree that it was hardly inhabitable before they undertook their improvements. Charles won't hesitate on this, if only to prevent the Sussexes from complaining, the expert told Fox News Digital. Schofield described the eviction as a natural outcome, despite the fact that Harry and Markle are supposedly disappointed by the decision.